On February 13, 1990, the mutilated body of Robert Ouko was discovered in a thicket near Got Alila. His right leg was broken into two places and his body was partially burned. Who killed Robert Ouko? And why was he killed? Robert John Ouko was born on March 31, 1931 at Nyahira village near Kisumu. His parents were known as Erastus and Susan Seda. Robert Ouko was born in a family of five children, that is four boys and one daughter. The children are known as Barack, Maurice, William and Collins. Their sister was known as Dorothy. Robert Ouko attended Ogada Primary School and later Nyaringori School. He later proceeded to Siriba Teachers Training College. He worked as a primary school teacher and later as a revenue officer in Kisi District which is now Kisi County. Ouko was admitted at Haile Selassie University in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia in the year 1958. He graduated in the year 1962 with a degree in Public Administration, Economics and Political Science. His passion for education led him to Makerere University in Uganda where he pursued a diploma in international relations and diplomacy. In the year 1971, he received an honorary doctorate from the Pacific Lutheran University in Seattle in the United States of America. On the eve of Kenya's independence in the year 1963, Ouko worked as an assistant secretary in the office of the Nyanza province governor before his skills were recognized. He had a stint as a permanent secretary in two ministries, that is works and foreign affairs. Ouko worked as the minister for foreign affairs from the year 1979 until the year 1983. He again served in the same position from the year 1988 until the year 1990. In the 1970s, Ouko served as the chairman of the Governing Council of the International Labour Organization. He was also the recipient of South Korea's highest award in which he was described as a brilliant and an articulate politician. He later served as the vice chairman of the Non-Aligned Movement's ministerial conference in the year 1981. In the year 1969, when the East African Community was formed, he was appointed as the Community Minister for Finance and Administration. Oyuko's star was on the rise in the realm of the community and his stature at home was growing. But when the East African community collapsed in the year 1977, he was recalled and later nominated as an MP by President Jomo Kenyatta, who also appointed him as the Minister for Economic, Planning and Community Affairs, Daniel Moi, who succeeded Jomo Kenyatta after his death in August 1978, retained Ouko in his cabinet after recognizing his ministerial experience in the community and his knowledge of community affairs. By then, the bug of politics had beaten him and the career diplomat officially plunged into politics in the year 1979 and he successfully vied for the Kisumu rural constituency. He defended the hotly contested seat in the next polls in the year 1983 and he retained the seat, but as the Kisumu politics became more competitive, Ouko switched his constituency from Kisumu Rural to Kisumu Town in the year 1988 elections and he was re-elected to Parliament. During that stint in the August House, the Kisumu Town MP served in the Ministries of Labour, Planning, National Development and Industry, on January 27, 1990, Ouko was part of a delegation of 83 ministers and officials led by the President. To attend the annual National Prayer Breakfast in Washington, D.C. hosted by the Assistant U.S. Foreign Secretary in charge of Africa Desk by the name of Herman J. Cohen. Robert Ouko married a woman by the name of Christabel Ouko in the year 1965 and they were blessed with seven children. 
Oko's wife died in a road accident along the Kisumukaricho Highway on August 21, 2017. Oko's body was found later in the day on February 13, 1990 at approximately 1 p.m. by a local herds boy by the name of Joseph Shikuku at the foot of nearby Got Alila Hill, 2.8 kilometers from Ooko's country home, but although he notified the local villagers of this, it was not reported to the police. Ooko's body was eventually officially discovered on February 16, 1990, following a police search. Forensic evidence suggested Ooko had been murdered near where his body was found. He was killed by a single shot to the head, his right leg broken in two places and his body left partially burned. There was evidence that a gun had been discharged at the scene. A single Caucasian hair was also found loosely associated with a partially burnt handkerchief found at the scene. Items including a gun, a torch, a diesel can and matches were found nearby. All of the items were subsequently identified belonging to Ooko and with the exception of the jerry can, matches and a torch he had usually kept in his bedroom. News of the murder set off riots in Nairobi, initial police reports suggested that Ooko had committed suicide but it became known that Ooko had also been shot as well as burnt. The suicide theory seemed an absurd suggestion, hinting perhaps at a cover-up attempt. Public pressure led President Daniel Moe to ask British detectives from New Scotland Yard to investigate Ooko's death. 